Oh, but I cannot take any pictures. My viewfinder is blocked. Hello puzzle lovers and welcome back. Today I'm going to attempt to solve a puzzle made by a fellow puzzle YouTuber. His name is Puzzled Wolf and he made his first mechanical puzzle. The puzzle is called Ansel, inspired by the photographer Ansel Adams, known for its white and black pictures of West America. As you can see, it looks like a camera and is made of laser cut walnut with metallic gold accent. The goal is to open the viewfinder. This is a sequential discovery puzzle, so we need to find tools to be able to move on to the next step to solve this puzzle. Now, it is time to solve the answer. Let's go! And here it is, the answer from Puzzle Dwarf. The packaging looks so amazing, like you can see his logo and also the actual puzzle well protected with also his logo as a sticker and just here his name. A very beautiful packaging with a very beautiful puzzle inside. So that's what the puzzle looks like. Again, very nice, a very neat finish, and you can really see the actual design of the camera with a viewfinder just here. Now that's the instruction. Answer, the goal is to fully open the viewfinder. No significant force is required. Do not use any external tools and do not remove any of the nuts or bolts. A very nice goal for a puzzle. It's quite original actually, but you have a camera theme puzzle and the goal of it is just to open it to kind of take a picture with it. Very nice, I'm quite excited to try to solve this puzzle. First what you can see is this part here at the bottom. You can access it and it moves already. Then you have the actual viewfinder just here and if you look on the sides you can also see actually maybe that's where the viewfinder will get out. So this is actually one piece of wood. Because when you push or pull this bottom part here, the viewfinder part is also moving. And that's quite interesting. So that means that all of this is one piece. And so if you remove it, then I guess it's how you open the viewfinder actually. And here also there is a tiny hole just here. So I think we will find also a tool or from here I can actually see a metallic pin maybe but we can maybe fit in this hole here, just in front of the camera. So yeah, so let's just try to find our first step. Okay, so when we move the puzzle, we can hear like maybe a metallic ball or a pin inside. There is a lot of things going on inside. I feel it's just here. So I don't know if it will be a maze or maybe a pin that already locks that. So we can try to move it in different positions and nothing is happening. Okay, so I'm not sure what is the first step. Um, I can hear a lot of clicking sound, like balls or pin going in one direction or another one, but nothing is happening right now. So when you move a puzzle like this, you can really feel like something is tapping to this wooden part just here. And so I don't know if that is in the way of this pin or ball or whatever it's inside, or if actually you need to get it somewhere just here. So I try to pull this bottom part here and try to maybe fit this object inside, but nothing is happening. I don't know if inside of this puzzle there is an actual maze and maybe you need to put like a metallic ball or maybe even a pin somewhere very specific to be able to actually move this part here. So this part has to go up or down at some point. So that it's my actual struggle right now is that I don't know how to get this ball or this pin just out somewhere. Maybe some spinning is involved. Let's try. No, nothing is happening if we spin the puzzle. Like this. No. I think I'm going nowhere, but... Oh, okay, so I think I should have checked that earlier, but these three bolts here, they don't move, but this one, 
this one can actually move. And yeah, it's moving all the way through the actual puzzle. So is that like the lock of a tool? That would be quite amazing, actually. Let's see. Maybe there is like the perfect positioning of it that makes the tool out. Oh, there is a clicking sound, actually. I don't know if you can hear it, but if I turn, you can hear this clicking sound. So, and here it is, our tool, actually. Okay, that's really amazing. I don't know how does that work. I hope it's the correct solution, but this nut here, even if the instructions say to not remove any bolt or nut, we are not really removing anything. But the fact to turn that make, I guess, enough room for this pin to get out. That's so crazy. So now we have a tool to actually move this part of the puzzle. And that, I hope it will help us to get somewhere okay so let's see so at the beginning we were saying that if we pull this one we have a kind of a ball or pin that goes down so if we move now this part of the puzzle i don't know if it's important to be in one direction or another but now we can maybe make this ball or this pin travel around so let's see Finally, I think we did remove almost the viewfinder. So if we stayed like this and we kind of rotate the inside of a puzzle, we end up unlocking something. Okay, so that's good. Now I think the next step would be to unlock that and to continue to be able to rotate this kind of cylinder. Okay, so if we don't pull it fully Outside we can turn again and we can still Put the viewfinder up and down. So the next step should be a different Well, I guess I guess it's a feeling that you are fixing your own camera. That's really funny actually. So I keep rotating this part, but I Feel I will get locked again at the same position one hour later Okay, so I have been trying to solve this puzzle for some time now, and I think I'm starting to understand how it works. So, the first thing is actually there is not just one bolt that is moving, but others also can turn. And I think I got lucky with a tool because actually the bolt here is spring loaded. So if you pull down the bolt, the tool gets in or it gets out. And it's very interesting actually, because it's quite tricky. The instructions say not to remove the bolt and you might think that you don't have to touch them, but actually there is one of them that can move and that's really interesting. So that's the first thing I discovered with this puzzle. Now, when you start, the viewfinder here is like this and it's locked. And also this part here that looks like to be circular should also be locked and you can actually get in a position at some point where yeah here you see here this circular part is locked and that is because i think there is a pin up there with a gravity actually the pin will fall into a hole or something and lock this part so you start like this and the first step is to actually remove a pin by putting the puzzle in this direction. So you remove a pin and now you can actually turn this circular part. And now you also remove the viewfinder because I think there is at least one pin locking this viewfinder. And when you open it, the, this pin is actually dropping in the circular part of this puzzle. And when you turn, you should also get this part locked here. So now the pin is inside this circular 
part and you can freely move this wooden piece here so when you start the fender is locked like this and you move the pin inside the circular part and then you should be able to move it somewhere else like this it gets back to the wooden piece the circular part is unlocked and so you transfer this pin from one side of the wooden piece to another side that's very interesting now i also notice something else so if you are very careful if you put the viewfinder back to its original position then you can hear more than one pin going down like if i move it a bit you will hear a first one just now and then a second one here that is looking the viewfinder at this position so we put the two pins back and i think what's happening is there is one pin here somewhere here that uh, lock the viewfinder at the beginning to this position and then you can drop it inside the circular part and open your viewfinder and then if you put the puzzle like this in this direction the pin goes back to a different position and i think there is another pin here is the second pin that we can hear now i don't know this pin is locked somehow and so what we did so far is that we tilt this puzzle to the front so we have this pin up there then we tilt it to the side for this pin and so i'm thinking that there is also maybe another pin here that is locking this pin like i think this pin is quite big and we lock the viewfinder and will be blocked by a pin here so maybe what we need to do is to get this pin on this side uh, out so it doesn't lock our circular part then we tilt it to this side here so we have this pin getting back to the viewfinder and now what we need is to get this pin here inside the circular part so let's see if i am right now we can okay so already i'm locked you can see i'm locked so the pin here should be inside of the circular part so if i am right now did you hear it okay so i think the pin that locks the viewfinder dropped and i should be able to release the viewfinder now i don't know which side it will come out uh, not this one and if i push and if i push i should be able to finally open my viewfinder that's so nice so i can take a picture now with it that's so crazy actually this puzzle has so many pins inside that are doing so many things so there are actually three pins that are connected to the circular part just here you have two that are on top and bottom and then one on the side that is also locking the viewfinder and that's so important to make sure that you understand what is locking the viewfinder so if i understand it correctly i should be able to put it back very easily and then you put back your tool like this. And so yes, we can say that we solved the end cell. And another puzzle solved. And wow, what an amazing puzzle. I think Puzzle Wolf did a really good job with his first puzzle. If you want to check him out, I will link his channel and website in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and the intro. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and check out the post credit scene. I see you next week for a new puzzle. Tschüss. I finally opened the viewfinder. It is time to take some pictures.